Hello, this is Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago. As usual, today I got a fun one. We just have a really rude guy roll into 3B with Judge Middleton. And watch out, he brought his mom. Let's do it. All right, Mr. Black, can you hear me? Yes. Now I've got Gene Black also logged in. Is that you or is that your mother logged in? Uh, that's my mother. mother. All right, Gene, can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right. This is Lolita Foster versus Jamal Black. Miss Foster is here. Jamal Black is here. Uh, Mr. Black, you're a tenant at 309 South Main Street. Miss Foster is asking to terminate your tenancy. She wants you to move. And as a tenant in a landlord-tenant proceeding, you have certain rights. And I'm going to tell you about those right now. As a defendant in a termination of tenancy action, you have the following legal rights. You have the right to obtain counsel for representation in this matter. If you cannot afford an attorney, a legal aid attorney may be available to help you. You have a right to a trial by a jury or by the court. If the plaintiff is agreeable, the Citizens Mediation Services, Inc. may be available as a possible source of case resolution. If the parties are interested, the court can help facilitate that. If you do reach an agreement with the plaintiff and a consent judgment is entered by the court, you would waive the rights listed above but have the following additional rights. The judgment could not be enforced until three business days had passed. You could move to set aside the judgment within those three days if you misunderstood what you consented to or what you were waiving. Your motion to set aside the judgment would be set for a landlord-tenant hearing. However, if the judge did not find in your favor, the original judgment would stand. So, uh, Ms. Black, Jean, do you live in the same residence, or are you just here as an interested party? I'm here as an interested party who would just like to, at some point, enter information into the record. All right, well, we'll see where we get that far. Uh, Ms. Foster, this is correct. Do you want him to move out? Yes. All right. It is a month to month lease, so we do not want to renew his lease. All right. <laughs> Mr. Black, what's your position? Um, I I would like to know first off why. Second off, why? Miss Lolita, if if she is the actual landlord, why she has not spoken with me? Why, whenever there is an issue, I have to speak with Mrs. McNary. Every issue that has ever came up um, has been dealt with. I thought to the approval of said person I was supposed to speak with over this property. Um, I mean, here we go. Here we go. She, this, they just want a victim. It's a month to month lease. They want him out. He wants to know why. It's none of your business. You don't own the property. They want the tenancy over. That's it. The, 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 we, we don't have to uh, have a therapy session together. We just want you out. I, I don't know why they want I I watched the whole thing, and I still don't know why they want him out. Maybe he isn't paying. Maybe they want to renovate it. Whatever it is, they don't owe it to you. I am funded by Keystone. Um, I've even actually paid cash on top of my Keystone funding. And I, I would just like to know, what did I do to want to be removed? Like, I'm, I, I guess she doesn't, have to, she doesn't have to answer that question. Okay. If she wants her okay. property back on a month-to-month -month lease. Okay, now, which, which, lease, which lease right, is now she this using stuff. as this one? Well, the one which that's lease? here. Yes, the one that's not a month -month signature month -month in the lease. second lease. Started February 1st of 2022. February. February 1 of 22. I I thought I was out of the shelter right after Christmas. I, I didn't think I was waiting until February to move. I thought I moved here in January. 
Well, that's the date on the lease I'm looking at. Yeah, well, where's uh, the actual original lease that um, Keystone has? I don't know the answer to that. Maybe Keystone has it. Well, anyway, the law says I have to adjourn this for seven days. So to look into some of these questions, but ultimately, uh, Mr. Black, if a landlord wants to terminate a tenancy on a month-to-month -month tenancy, they serve the notice to quit, and they What's can, that? let's say the reason is she wants to run it to her nephew, okay. or she wants to tear it down and put up a parking lot, Correct. or she thinks you play your music too loud, or she yeah. wants to move into it herself. She doesn't have to she give have you a any, reason. She, she just reason. has to go okay. through the steps. Okay. Can I ask a question? Does that notice to quit have to be filed? Yeah, it was filed. Uh, it was? Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, let's take a look. Mm. Yeah. It was filed on June 7th. She asked you on May 7th I to move, and now we're in July. Okay, uh, so June. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say, say that one more time, please. She it was served filed the when? notice to quit on she you served. on May 7th. But when, when was the notice quit filed? June 7th. Uh, June 7th. That's what he previously said. Uh, it's it's unbelievable how nice he's being to you. Uh, you know, it's incumbent upon you to to bring bring documentation and defend yourself. You, you're, you, you know, you can't really rely on the judge. But he did answer your question, June 7th, and you didn't listen. Okay. Um. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> the huh defense. <laughs> oh, what, what, the ju what the judge was saying to him was, uh, you know, this thing's going to be granted in a week. You, you, you know, make arrangements. That, that That's what he was nicely saying to him. In, in an appropriate way, and then and then he comes back with "huh," which is I have no defense and I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I'm going to try to kill some time here. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe, or the dogs get it. Yeah, and um, right, also I'm going to continue this. Uh, to, got the letter where my uh, funding was supposed to be canceled as well, and I, I mm -hmm. you know. Well, I don't know. Keystone was running yeah. out of money. I do know that. No, they didn't. They didn't run out. Of August money. 12th? I got a no. Okay, you know what. Mr. Milton, um, I got a fake letter that my funding was canceled after four months, but I know my Sandy, she came into the house visit, and I have 18 months funding, so. Well, you I may have got 18 months would, funding, but the may yeah, have to yeah, be I'm, no, other than this. Did you hear what I All said? Right, no. Okay. We're, we're going to continue this. Yes, I sir. told you what your rights were. Yes, sir. We're continuing it until next week. Now, let's repeat. Okay. You had a month-to-month -month lease in February. Okay. So she gave you a notice on May 7th telling you you had to move. You and that was not filed. It was filed. So, June, so on June, June 7th. She, has to wait for, she has to wait for 30 days to pass. So you June, didn't move. And on just, June He's leaning hard on the on the fact that the notice wasn't filed, but it was. It was filed on June 7th, and he's confirmed it three times. <laughs> Uh, I think Lolita Foster is doing this professionally, and they, they know the process. They know how to, to do this sort of eviction. And I, I can tell because they have their paperwork together, and she's uh, staying out of the way because she probably has experience with this and knows that she has the stuff together. Seven, she filed this termination of tenancy action. Does the notice then we have to have schedule to be filed. for a hearing. Then... Uh, we have the first hearing, and then it gets adjourned for seven days. Sure. Yes, sir. You're going to attack me on every level for, possible, all at once. Jamal, you always interrupt me. And yes, I do. Kind of yes, I do. Doing. I will give you a chance to speak. Let me finish. If she gets what she Good asked luck, for, you would have until August 22nd to move out, or you would be subject to being evicted. If you okay. have some defense or... Uh, implicit in that statement is if she gets what she wants, and and it likely will. I mean, I will review everything and see if anything comes up. But it, from what I'm seeing here, it looks like that that that's what's going to happen. So, pl plan on getting a new place by August 22nd. For other uh, issues that you wish to raise, you can do that next Friday at okay. 10. Can I say who is Jamal Black? Can I say that who's Jamal Black? Because I don't know who that is. That's not me.
So I shouldn't even be at this court proceeding because I don't know who the person that is filed to be the court is. And should I take that stipulation? Yes, it's who is that man? It's not me. J A M A L L. No, no, it's not J A L A. Well, that's you. So be here next. That's that's not me. My name is J A M A A L L. Well, we'll fix. You oh, you're gonna edit something else? Yeah. I'm gonna play hardball now. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, so. I don't know if you caught that. He said, I'm going to play hardball now. <laughs> He's been taking it easy on us so far. Oh, Lord. He really deserves contempt, but I, I get why that why the judge isn't doing it. He's just going to set it over for a week. Then he's then he's going to enter, enter an order for possession, probably, and it, it'll all move along. Okay, I'll see you okay. next Friday. Gene, I don't know if you have anything to add. We don't smoke in court, but... Uh, come back next Friday at ten fifteen. Miss Foster wants him to go. Um, that, that that wasn't a joke, Gene. And I don't know what else to say about it. Um, but we'll. I do have a question, week. sir. Yes, certainly. So at this point, Jamal has not been evicted. Is that correct? correct? So Correct. he should have a key and free access to his room. He should. Is that the case? It is I not mean, my understanding as of a couple of days ago. Actually, as of yesterday. It's not not my understanding. Tell us about that, Ms. Foster. Ms. He's in his room right now. Yes. <laughs> He's in his room right now. <laughs> I love it. She she's good in her understatement. She really is. I don't does he have a key? If he does not have a key, it's because he's lost it. <laughs> All right, I have been back it. Friday to deal with this. And the locks are not changed. Okay, so that was the, the whole implicit improper self-help thing, saying, oh, we, you know, we, she wouldn't change the locks on them or whatever. Apparently she hasn't, or at least she's she's not fessing up to it in court. I don't think she has. She, they, they seem to be following the procedure, know the, know the routine, and are just doing it according to the law. She's not his lawyer. All right, Ms. Foster, is this just one room in a larger house? Is he renting the whole house? Ms. Foster? I'm wrong. What? He one room. One room. Who else lives there? We have uh Shane. But how many, uh, well, I'll sort that out. The way it is, you're evicting from the house. Can I just give you okay? Yes. All right. All right, we'll deal with this next Friday morning at 10.15. All right, you're good to go. Okay. Thank you. All right, okay. Well, there you have it. Rude and entitled is no way to go through life, but uh, that that's what uh, Jamal seems to be doing. His, his mom didn't help at all either. <laughs> she comes rolling on, having a cigarette, and then, and then when the judge says, hey, you know, we don't do that, she, she finds that, that very funny. Um, so you, you can see where he gets it from. You can see where he gets it from. I just I just thought it was uh, an interesting one, and uh, I, as usual, I think judge handled it very well. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court, and every once in a while, and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.